Hey, welcome to a new Project Camp update. So yeah, we've been reading the YouTube comments, new people, new video maker, new style. We're gonna talk more about that at the end of this video. But first, I'm gonna show you some benches that we renovated, talk more about the yoga decks, and we actually started making a height map so we have an overview of the land. So by now we have a pretty good overview of the land thanks to walking around and just being able to fly the drone. But one thing we need is an elevation map. It's a height map that shows the different heights in contour lines on the land. And we need this to plan our landscapes and the water flows. So we started using some online tools to make this with the help of the online community. We found this very useful tool that makes contour lines using satellite information. Moritz used SAR data and made this map. Steel found a plugin for Blender and made this 3D model. And Janovic combined some other data together and mainly modeled a 3D model from it. And these are all very cool maps, but all based on somewhat low resolution satellite data that is freely available. So we want to give it another test and map it out with a drone. So Mark was actually on his way to make a big trip to Europe in his green van and wanted to drop by for a few days to help out. But yeah, so he was coming to a project camp, but he had a few obstacles first. Yeah. Because then you pass the camp, but I think they didn't. Yeah, Google the map. Yeah, it's a tricky thing. Yeah. How were you doing on the road? Because it's quite a I had to, extreme uh, state, no? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit thinner than it looks. On the, on the bottom there is only uh, a small part that is actually still attached. Yeah. Yes. yeah. But if we chop there, then the thing falls. And but on the, falls, no? with the hands. Okay guys, uh, we're working on a height map for uh, Project Camp and uh, the drone has, has been doing uh, the work today. Uh, all morning we had rain but there was a window where weather was pretty good for it. So we went for it. Uh, the drone itself uh, does most of the work. I've got an app uh, it's actually a free app from uh, Pix4D and it, um, it controls the drone automatically so it uh, flies a pattern and photo takes photographs from uh, all the land. Can you operate from, from here also the drone? Well, n not while it's doing this. Th this is all an automatic uh, system. Where is it? <laughs> uh, okay, this is uh, this is the pattern uh, the drone flew, and you see a little camera on all the spots, and then we, uh, it had to sync uh, 
the photos and now we have a, a list of photos from the land it's all straight from above so it's uh, it will generate a uh, 3d map from uh, from this information now we can see the shape it has generated from the point cloud and it doesn't have the texture on it yet it's so here we are now again with uh, the fully textured mesh because it's a bit, a bit bit low res because the uh, high res versions will get uh, so large it would be unworkable actually and you can still see all the, the the entire grid of cameras floating above the land so gives a great look on how this uh, this is created by uh, computing power and the software and the drone and, and me. I hope you enjoy it. Since we become more people because the first helpers arrived to support the project, we needed a bigger table to sit together, eat and work on. I'm Jeannie, here for some weeks to help and I work usually in the movie industry. My job is to find and buy second-hand stuff for movies. So it was easy and fun for me to find some nice old restaurant tables in a Portuguese second-hand website. Julie, Adrian and me drove to the place, made a good deal with the guy and bought them. Now we just have to show them a bit of love and they will be good as new. What have you been doing? Where, where um, is the old we, paint? Uh, we, we removed all the paint. Where to cut it? Um, from yeah, all the benches and from all. the table. We removed all the paint this and then we, we took round. some sandpaper to remove it. So they all the time and to now yeah. we put on some linseed oil to protect you know to, the benches so and the tables from bad big weather big conditions. Trying to remove these parts. Um. Screws are broken, rust. Not fun. Not fun. So you need to screw through the metal. And you need to take out the screws, the broken screws, with two like mm. I could also break it. We already took away the old parts that were a bit rotten and with all the screws, all rusty. So, and they were weak. 
So now we are replacing them for new parts that are going to hold the legs. Yeah, way more stronger, new screws, it will last way longer. They should be the same. Yeah. Seems good. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, I think it's the loose up. Mm -hmm. This is loose. Because on yeah. the table is always, can you give me that? Can you yeah. give me that? How's the new desk, people? Beautiful. Do you feel any? Yeah. Hmm. I feel a bit hungry. You feel hungry? <laughs> Does it count? Yeah. I had arrived and there had been a. It said, it's your uh, destination is on the left now, but there was nothing there but mm. jungle. Last week you could see us choosing a location for the yoga decks which will be in the rocky area. It has a great view over the land. We are building a few wooden decks on the land as a place to relax, calm down and do some exercise. We feel more and more that besides of the essential infrastructure like a kitchen, a workspace and so on, it's important to create spaces where people can come and have fun or empty their mind from all that daily functional stuff. We had a few talks together on what they should look like and how to build them. We decided to give them the soft shape of a pebble to fit to the environment and the function of the decks. Here you can see the final design. The decks will be made of wood and we tried to place them on the rocks without drilling in the stone. So when we move them, they won't leave a trace. The decks will not be connected to each other but placed on different spots around the environment. For the sake of research, we want for each deck a different type of wood. We hope to find more about the behavior of local wood types in this climate over a longer period of time. More about this in the next videos. You can also find the research topic on the website. Hey, hello dear YouTube subscriber. So uh, yeah, let's talk a bit more about this new video style that is going on here on the Project Camp YouTube channel. Um, so in the recent weeks we uh, released a few new videos and they look a bit different than before and we got some comments on that. Some uh, people really like it, new style, good music, good audio, looks super nice, nice shots. Some people prefer the old style where it's a bit more uh, logical, straightforward about development. And the main reason why it changed is that last year I made the videos. Um, and this year we have a new video maker here that is helping us out making these videos. And the main reason actually for getting a video maker is that it just became too much for me to organize a project and also make videos each week. And it's just not scalable. I mean, if you're here with two people, we might manage, but the project is going to be bigger than that. And the plan is to have a whole lot of people here with a whole lot of projects. So we need to have a more scalable solution. So for that, for season two, we decided to have a video maker, one person that is really dedicated on the ground to make sure whatever is going on here is captured and shown to you guys. Yeah, so I think we're now a bit at this difficult point of trying to maneuver uh, between uh, 
different people making the videos. But I think you should really see it as Felix is here in a way really to serve you guys. Because we have a lot going on on the land, a lot of project, a lot of development. And he is here to document it in a way that is interesting, useful and relevant for you guys to watch. So it's very much up to you guys to tell us like how do you want to see it and what do you think it should be shown. Because then we would sort of adapt to that. And obviously we need to make sure that the people here are happy how it goes and the people on YouTube are happy. Difficult sometimes for us in the YouTube comments to find out what is relevant and what not. But I guess hopefully we will get better at that as well. But yeah, so it's going to be an ongoing process. Uh, we'll take a few episodes before we nail it down. But it's going to be good for the long term video making of Project Camp. So hopefully you guys stick around and help us out in the process. Anyway, that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you already want to see the next one, make sure to support on Patreon. If not, we'll just see you next week. Bye.